Hey guys, welcome to the Misfits channel. This is going to be a video in which I have a pickup which I want to share with you. And it helps complete a run of uh, insert cards. This is the first insert uh, set that I've ever completed. And it's one that spoke to me because I thought it was very unique and uh, beautiful. And a little challenging, but not too crazy. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this insert set. I'm not gonna keep it in a binder. I was thinking about doing something with it, but I'll get into it once I share with you the set. This is the, well, let me show it to you. I'm gonna flip this camera around and show them all to you together. And I'm excited to do this. So here's one of the first cards of this set that I'm gonna share with you. It's Albert Pujols. Simply love this acetate card, stained glass window design. I have this white card which I could put behind here just to show how the colors pop on this. If it's, uh, I guess, being put in the right area where the light can really shine through it. It's a simply gorgeous set. I felt inclined to try to put this insert set together was because of this design. It was so unique. It's like nothing I ever saw before with any other insert set. And with this particular year, it had so many immortals. I was like, oh my God, so many great names. And I love it. This man in particular with 703 home runs. And what a way to go out with the Cardinals. I only wish they would have illustrated him with the Cardinals uniform. But it is what it is. In 2013, he was with the Angels. Another immortal here is Yogi Berra. Larry Yogi Berra. Three MVPs. The best catcher that the Yankees ever had. Great image of him. And you got to check out that documentary with Netflix. It had me and my lady just tearing at the end. Such a beautiful story. And they managed to mix a lot of the immortals with people that they thought would be on that level. Like Buster Posey, who by 2013 already had... Rookie of the Year honors and an MVP in his belt. And they thought that he was going to be on the trajectory to be an immortal. Who knows if he'll be in the Hall of Fame in the future. But this is the only person that I could say is probably a little lacking as far as uh, greatness power. But someone not lacking in greatness power is Cal Ripken Jr. With his uh, Rookie of the Year honor and two MVPs in his belt. Great image of Cal there, looking like he's watching a ball fly out the stadium. I simply love the look of this set. Here's the Iron Horse, the man that Cal Ripken Jr. eclipsed. Fittingly, the greatest first baseman to ever play this game. This man actually had 185 RBIs in 1931. Very short of being the record holder from Hack Wilson with 191. He's also gazing at a bomb. Really love that one. Here's Jackie Robinson, the barrier breaker. What is there to say about him? He's fielding here. Nice little fielding pose. I really love that. Love how these colors just pop. Like, doesn't do its service that I have it on this uh, wooden background, but look at those colors. Sometimes I wonder how I'm going to display these cards because I want the vibrance of the back, the acetate finish to really pop. Here's uh, Roberto Clemente, the, better, the best Pirates player. Here he's shown, I guess, running the bases. It's a beautiful pick. I wish they would have had him fielding because with 12 gold gloves, it would have been nice to see an image of him fielding. And here's the greatest closer that had ever lived, Mariano Rivera. Enter Sandman. Look at that grit and determination he has where he's zeroing in on the strike zone, ready to throw a cutter. Love that image. Man, I'm running out of space here. And look at another one with the, the greatest left arm of God here, Sandy Koufax. Arguably the greatest pitcher who ever lived. Just peering in on the strike zone, ready to strike someone out. 
three Cy Youngs, three Triple Crown wins. Definitely one of the greatest pitchers ever. Is a modern day Miguel Cabrera who just retired, gazing at a bomb, Triple Crown winner himself. Very beautiful picture. This guy started me on this run because I picked this card up for my MVP series. I fell in love with it. I had to find a copy of the 2013 year. And when I saw this one, that was it. I was caught. And then after that, I said, you know what? Let me uh, see if I go after this set. Let me put them in the background here. And here I am completing the set. So Miggy is at four for that. He is one of the greatest Yankees. One of the greatest I ever witnessed. Derek Jeter, number two. Going oppo there, patented Jeterian swing. Let me see who I remove. Let's remove Cal Ripken. Put Derek Jeter there. And then the splendid splinter. Look at this guy. Man, two MVPs. Probably should have had like four MVPs. <laughs> I think he was robbed, if not for his issues. Uh, you know, they thought that he was uh, draft dodging. And it was just that probably cost him uh, an MVP or two. But he probably should have had like four MVPs or maybe five. But the splendid splinter looking really stoic with that swing. I love that image of him. Very nice images. They caught up some of these great players. Is a greatest center fielder to ever play, Willie Mays. Very nice image. Ready to just pick a pitcher apart. Probably hit one of his 660 home runs. And here we got Babe Ruth, the greatest slugger to ever play this game. Very nice image of him, classic image. Babe Ruth, Let's take Mariano out of here, put him in there. And then the final 15th card that took me a while to find this card, because this card, honestly, is so expensive given who he is. It's Mike Trout. And I was able to find this in a PSA 8, and I paid basically a little bit less than going rate for his card. His card usually goes between 60 so like 75 bucks. This is one of the more expensive cards. I would say between the Mike Trout, the Babe Ruth, and the Jackie Robinson, those are the three hardest to find for this set where they're not that easily affordable. And this is a cool image of Mike Trout because in 2013, at that time frame, he was actually a speedster. He stole 49 bases and led the league in 2012. So they caught him just tearing up the base path it's a great image, and it's probably <laughs> the biggest card in this set, which is funny because it's all these names, but I guess because it's an early playing days card of him, that's why it's so expensive. But this is the one that finally helped me to complete this set. It's a beautiful set. I love it. Seeing these all together, just, it looks so beautiful. I feel like I'm in a cathedral, but... There it is, the Gallery of Heroes archive set, 15 cards in the set, and now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna display them. So, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and look forward for more content from the Misfits channels. See you later.